protests erupt at a Cumberland County school today as students fight to save their coach who was suspended this week. Today, that coach returned to class as a teacher, but students say that's not enough and want to see her back on the basketball court too. Dwan Hogard is live at the school for us. And Dwan, catch us up to speed. What's going on here? Anna, there's a lot going on, particularly the girls basketball team, as well as members of the student body here at Westover High School in Fayetteville. They're going to great lengths to get their basketball coach back on the court after being pulled off earlier this week. So students and parents, they told ABC 11 that coach Tammy Brown was suspended from coaching and teaching earlier this week for allegedly buying a couple of hotel rooms for players on the girls basketball team with the approval of the school's athletic director. Members of the team say that's when the principal found out and pulled Coach Brown off the court and out of the classroom. Today, dozens of students, they held a protest in the school's gym and then someone pulled the school's fire alarm. That prompted rumors of a school shooting, which sent the school into a code yellow lockdown, which was eventually lifted as the threat was deemed not to be credible. Now, several parents showed up to release their kids from school early as a result, but today's movement was about students and players wanting their coach back in action. And Dr. Vernon Lowry, she's the principal of Westover High School. She released this statement earlier today that reads, students had a concern about an issue at school when they were returning to class. The fire alarms malfunctioned, causing some disruption. And also we're hearing from the school itself, they're going to be making a decision. From what we hear from parents and players, they're going to be making a decision on the uh, status of Coach Tammy Brown tomorrow at some point. They had a game last night that they won. They also have a game tomorrow and the players are hoping that Coach Brown will be able to coach the team to another victory tomorrow night. That's the latest for now. Live in Fayetteville, Dewan Hogard, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Are is charged with having a sexual relationship with one of her students. That is three-year-old Laura Garrigus. She's resigned now from the Cumberland County School System. Nicole Carr is in Fayetteville with today's new developments. The most tense moment in this courtroom this afternoon was when Laura Garrigus was told she can't be around her own children as this case plays out. She is not to be around any children under the age of 18 at all. Okay, do you understand that? So if you make bond, you cannot be around any child under the age of 18. Not even my own children. You will not be around any child under the age of 18. The 30 year old teacher's bond was raised from 16 to $50,000 under these instructions because the charges Laura Garrigus faces include indecent liberties with a child. A 17 year old investigators say she met at her school. Garrigus is accused of having that inappropriate sexual relationship with a female student from the early college at Fayetteville State University off campus from October until December when the student came forward to authorities with the accusations. Uh, I don't know if this was a student that she taught. I just know that the child was in the school that the teacher was teaching. Each count of the four indecent liberties with a child and two sex offense charges represent an encounter Garrigus allegedly had with the girl. State law counts the relationship between student and teacher as criminal, although 17 is a consenting age and investigators say the evidence points toward consent. First at four, a former teacher slapped with 13 new sex charges after an alleged second victim comes forward. 30-year-old Laura Gargas was charged last month with having an inappropriate relationship with a 17-year-old female student. Deputies say during that investigation, they found a second victim. Greg Barnes is live in Cumberland <coughs> County where Gargas was just in court on the new charges. Greg? Yeah, good afternoon, and we are told that these new additional charges involve a second student who attended the Cumberland International Early College where Laura Garrigus taught. The 30-year-old teacher, former teacher, made a first court appearance earlier this afternoon on those 13 new additional felony charges of indecent liberties and sex offenses with a student. According to the new charges, the teacher's alleged sexual relationship with this male student was from October through December of 2015. Gargas was first arrested last month on charges of having sex with a female student at the early college. The district attorney said none of the alleged encounters occurred on the campus and that both students were under 18 years old. 
The picture taken by a student shows honors history teacher Lee Francis giving a lesson on the First Amendment after holding up an American flag asking students for a lighter or scissors. And I put the flag on the ground and I take two steps with my right foot and I said this is an example of freedom of speech. As soon as the flag hits the ground and, and, and I step on it, two students got up and left immediately with no word, no disruption at all, got up and left. I assumed that something happened. Um, one student came to where I am and took the flag from me. Francis, who has relatives in the military, says he didn't intend to offend students, but rather drive home the Supreme Court's definition of free speech, as noted in the case Texas versus Johnson. This case says speech is something other than what is spoken. I was just appalled. Melissa Ramos, who has a daughter at the school and a son stationed at Fort Bragg, was among the many parents furious over the demonstration and demanding Francis be fired. Just personally, as a military family, Sorry. to have someone do that. Thank goodness that she wasn't in that class because of our personal experiences with the, having friends um, not come home. In a statement, Cumberland County School Superintendent Dr. Frank Till said, quote, clearly there are other ways to teach First Amendment rights without desecrating the flag and that the incident is under investigation. Good morning at 856. I'm John Clark. Breaking news, extra security in place at a Cumberland County High School. That's after someone posted a threat against Southview High School on social media last night. Extra officers have been posted at the school today as a precaution.